So, will Obama take people's guns away? To help us figure it out, we've got a former NRA man and author of Ricochet, Confessions of a Gun Lobbyist. Say hello to Richard Feldman. Hello, Richard, how are you? Good. So, you were formerly with the NRA, and, and you, you're a bit of a whistleblower for the NRA, right? Well, you know, I represented the firearm industry for about 10 years after I left the NRA, and I came to see the issue as I've uh, matured on it, uh, perhaps a little differently than the NRA does. How so? Well, to me, um, uh, firearm ownership, the right to keep and bear arms, is something that needs to be protected, right. and it's a right of the citizens. Right. Um, certainly, the Supreme Court just last year in the Heller decision said exactly the same thing. It is a constitutional right, and from the many years that the NRA's been around, that's what they always said they wanted. They won the big fight, but they just refused to accept the congratulations. Right, right. So why do they gin up fear? Why are they telling people that Obama's going to take their guns away from them? I hope that the Democrats have learned that this is an issue with tremendous uh, potency in American politics. It is the third rail of American politics. And I think Democrats have gotten a lot smarter over the years and recognize that this is an issue that uh, you should work with the gun owning community and not make those hundred million firearm owners the enemy. They're not. It's the criminals that are the enemy and we're all in agreement on who shouldn't be able to own firearms. I know in California they have a responsibility law like uh, the law is if I if a gun uh, that I own is used in the commission of a crime then uh, I can be held liable for that. What do you think of a law like that? Well, that that really depends on the situation. If I have a gun and I uh, take it to the beach with me and I leave it on the beach uh, foolishly um, and the, someone picks up the gun and misuses it, that's, that's pretty negligent. On the other hand, if I have the gun uh, in my own home and someone breaks into my home, the intervening criminal act and then steals the gun from me, commits a crime and misuses it, what was my irresponsibility in that situation? I don't see any. You are a very bright man, but one more, uh, let me clear something up. So if I go to the beach, I can't leave my gun there. <laughs> Besides, they really have a tendency to rust on the beach, so I really don't recommend it. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Feldman. Give it up to Richard Feldman, Thank author you. of Ricochet, Confessions of a Gun Lobbyist.